Oh, where'd you get all this? Mike helped me bring it from my place. I wanted you guys to have a decent party. Friends? Well, for Peter's sake. All right, cue the music! Small margins of increase. Boogies. He's done it. That's a 1.8. So, the pressure back on wood. Is the pressure starting to show? Bogies. Nice bogey. <laughs> Two point five. <laughs> On today's show, Hartlepool are up against Peterhead. They're in a battle to be the best on today's 50-50. Blues, are you ready? Yeah! Yellows, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! Let battle commence between Hartlepool and Peterhead. Through the hole in the wall, through the forest of spikes. And the Blues taking the early lead, getting up there very, very quickly indeed. Down goes the puzzle piece. Number 43 is going to be the last person to hand over for the Blues. The Yellow's doing the same. It's a battle of the build now. It's between Katie and Liana. It was right on the nose. There was a third of a second in it. Harley Puller on 40, feet ahead on 70. Yeah! Sorry, Lucy. It looks like all the animals are asleep. <laughs> but what about my story? I'll tell you a bedtime story. But it won't be the same without <sighs> the others. <sighs> Did someone say story? <laughs> but you should try and make that back leg a little bit longer. Like this. Not that long! <laughs> pick a zook that can cause mayhem and pick a zook right now, off you go. I think really Wendy would be good if she can knock more over. <laughs> Let's get on with the teams, it's time for the first contest, come on. Start the countdown. Three, two, one. Ready? Well, little old Grog has got 29 to beat in 30 seconds and off. He sort of goes. But you can't help feeling somebody forgot to give him front legs. Now, nah, it's only 11. Boys, what can I say? Sean, throughout that, you were shouting, Groggy, you're the man, but on this occasion he wasn't, was he? No, I'm afraid not. 13 band in a row just where Sarah Jane Smith lives. And it's home to things way beyond your imagination. Ready? Always. Clyde, is that you? Of course it's not. It's me. I'm using Clyde as a receiver. I've keyed into his residual artron energy so I can organise a very complicated biological swap across 10,000 light years. Hold on. <gasps> that wasn't me. That's not my hand. Because my hand's not white. Good. 
Doctor. Gosh, that was different. Hello, everyone. Percy and the oil painting. One day, the fat controller came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had splendid news. The mayor has invited a famous artist to paint a picture called The Spirit of Sodor. It will be put on show at Nafford Station, boomed the Fat Controller. Percy, you must collect the artist from Brendam Docks and show him all the most beautiful places. Yes, sir, said Percy. Thomas was excited for his friend. I've got mischief to make. Devil finger! Oh, no, really, you have to stop. You don't know what you're unleashing. It's the devil controlling the finger. Hence the name Devil Finger. Ah, don't wake it. You'll make it angry, and you won't like it when it's angry. When what's angry? Cow bite! Moo. Ow, pack it in, that really hurts! Moo. I can't help it! My hand's possessed by the spirit of an evil thousand year old cow! Cow bite! Moo. Devil finger! Cow bite! Them on the kitchen sink. I'm going to meet Charlie and Lily. We're going to stop the living scarecrow from eating everybody's brains. All right, sweetheart, but make sure you're home before Mom gets back from karate class. When the living scarecrow eats someone's brain, that person becomes a zombie. Without a brain, zombies have a poor sense of direction. They get lost, and so they disappear. There he is, the living scarecrow. For a living scarecrow, he's not too lively. Good, he's still sleeping. We have to move fast. Okay, but what should we do? Watch me. Good to see you again. Chugging through the beautiful countryside aboard a narrow boat. I even made a model of one recently. Do you want to see it? A narrow boat! <laughs> to get it! My name is Raven. Kinsa, are you ready? Then let the challenge begin.
It was Brom's day for exploring the big town. He brum, brum, brummed his way along the pavement. Hello and welcome to what is quite possibly the most incredible challenge show on the planet. Tim Ray of Adventure is handpicked from over 4,000 applicants are about to be marooned on an extreme island in the middle of nowhere. This is Scorpion Island. Adventure, ready! Music is great fun, isn't it? Why don't you join in with this song? I am the music man. I come from down your way and I can play. What can you play? I play piano. Pia, pia, piano, 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 pia, pia, piano, pia, piano. I'm the music man, I come from down your way and I can play. What can you play? The big trombone. Big trombone, big trombone, big trombone, big trombone, big trombone. How can you get a quart in a pint pot? How can you conquer with conquers? How can I knock you for six? Can I turn your world upside down? Oh, Fred, every time you look into my eyes, my world just goes into a spin. Give us that tenner. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you'd have to make me stand on my head to turn my world upside down, Fred. Hey, talking about that, I'd like you to meet little Fred. Now, Hello, just Fred. like big Fred, he's a bit of an athlete. He specialises <laughs> in handstands. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, 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 yes! Oh! Fantastic and me so go, easy, of course, Gareth. You I can do go. this. OK, I little Fred, me. One, two, three. Huh? Oh, oh, so how can you get no, that no, wrong? No, 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 no. Hey, you OK, have a go. okay. little Freddy will do it for me. Go on, then. One, two, three. One, two, three. three. Uh, oh, oh, absolutely no good at all. How do you Look, do it, then? Well, there are two Freds. There is one on the front there and there is one on the back, but one is at 90 degrees to the other and the secret of the whole thing is holding the right corner.